Man, I tell you, every single time that we start any one of these games, any simulator game, it doesn't seem to matter. We always end up in a crap hole. Or just a bachelor pad. <laughs> What's going on, YouTube? My name is Diesel, and today we're back in Anonymous Hacker Simulator. The game has been released. Link is in the description down below if you'd like to check it out. And if you're into a hacking simulator game, you can also try out, uh, I believe it's called Grey Hack. It's like an MMO uh, hacker simulator type deal where you and actual other players are out there just uh, in the world hacking the planet. I got a couple comments in the uh, prologue version, which you can check out. Also, that link is in the description down below if you want to scope out because we're kind of diving past it. The demo is the first like four or five missions that are on uh, you know, the main game. So we skip past those. So if you want to check those out, watch that video first and then hop on over and see what we got going on here. But I got a couple of comments that are like, it's probably not a good idea for you to be teaching people how to hack via video games. I was like, they're already doing it, my guy. They're already doing it, my guy. It's quite popular. Quite popular with the kids. So we have a couple of things here just to kind of get the gist, give you, give you an idea. We have the underground web. All right. This is our main hub. This is where we get our gigs, our side gigs, covert gigs, cyber gigs, completed gigs, all sorts of gigs. We have our alert status. We want to try and stay on the lower end of the heat if we could. So we got to get cypher credits. And every time we get cypher credit, I got to like do an identity change, just spoof some operations. You know what I'm saying? But then we can hop in a hackify. And this is the place where we can get all of our different kind of password cracking, penetration tests, or basically pen testing. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, purchase a couple of, uh, you know, exploits, things like that. But we are just getting into this game, malicious malware, and also credit card information, account information. We get to steal some stuff from some people who are unsuspecting, or they're talking a little bit of ish, and then we have to show up and be like, "Yo, so we heard you was talking some mad ish. You want to dance?" So, news, and in our mission, pack by, gonna get notepad out of here while I'm at it. Drop that down. We'll put you over here. So, our main gig that we got to deal with at the moment is unveiling the veil. I need you to backtrack Edward Oliver's movements leading up to the shooting. Dig deep, follow the digital breadcrumbs, and uncover any leads that could shed light on who might have targeted him. We need to find out why he was silenced and bring those responsible to justice. The truth must prevail. A hacker was shot. I'm on the case. So, looks like it's this guy. So we have major news, and it shows the other things that you've been uh, messing around with earlier on. It's like, oh my god, Tom the Tattooed, his uh, Epic Lames account was stolen in a cyber attack. That was me, y'all. Don't mean to toot my own horn. Open G uh, GPT CEO Richard addresses allegations, but right now, white hat hacker shot after government expose, expose sparks controversy. In a shocking incident that was uh, sent ripples through the cybersecurity community, a white hat hacker named Edward Oliver was shot after his attempts to expose the truth about the government took a tragic turn. Oliver, known for his relentless pursuit of uncovering hidden information, became the target of a violent act that was ignited a fierce debate surrounding transparency and the dangers faced by those who challenge establishment systems. Oliver's expose, which allegedly contained damning evidence of government misconduct and dis undisclosed surveillance programs, had garnered significant attention prior to the tragic incident. As news of the shooting broke, it sent shockwaves through the digital community and beyond, raising concerns about the protection of whistleblowers and the lengths to which some may go to suppress the truth. While the investigation is still underway, the incident has brought to the forefront discussions about the delicate balance between freedom of information and personal safety. Supporters of Oliver argue that his actions were driven by a desire for accountability and justice, while others question his methods used and the potential risks involved in such endeavors. We'll see. That's what we're talking about. So search Twitter for Edward Oliver. So on the, on the X, on the X, bro, Edward Oliver. Sounds like a chef. Oh, it's Jamie Oliver. My bad. All right. Unveiling vulnerabilities and fortifying cyber defenses. Passionate about ethical hacking. Okay, I'm there. I'm with you. I'm right here. White hat hacker. Hey, I just scored an exclusive invite to CryptoCon. Can't wait to learn about the latest tricks. Interesting. So utilize web searches engines and to retrieve information on the last place Edward Oliver visited before the incident of being shot. All right. Bye-bye, Twitter. So we're at CryptoCon. Yeah, we'll, we'll minimize that. Let's hop on the terminal. So, Harvester. Full name. I mean, we can put an Edward Oliver in there, 
But I think we're, gonna, we're looking for CryptoCon. That was the last place that he was at. Oh. All right. IPS found 152. All right. So now we got to do an end map to get the IP address. So we'll copy this in here and map. And we'll put that IP address. Vader. Oh. Oh. So this system is most likely to be vulnerable to RDP brute force. So we got to hop into our hackify. Systems, exploits, RDP brute force. What uh, version are we talking here? 1.01. Purchase. Are you sure? Warning. Item cost $30. Don't worry. I got cash, bro. I got cash, bro. I got cash below. Let's use that exploit. Use. And we'll do RDP brute force. Version. So whenever you do the RDP brute force or you type in anything, hit tab and the tab will actually bring up this version. And then on like 1.01, .01, we can type that in instead of, you know, cut copy pasting and then hit tab. It will automatically create that IP. Just that little link right there. Then we got to copy you and boop you in there and let it do its thing. A lot of cut copy paste. I'm just cut copy, just copy pasta. A lot of copy pasta all up in this biz. Ooh. We're learning secrets. We received your payment and confirmed co uh, cooperation regarding the obstacle at CryptoCon. Our team is prepared to assist as discussed. Let's ensure discussion. I'm looking forward. You know what? I'm going to download this file. And we got this bad boy right here. Attached is the comprehensive plan. Oh. Evidence that Edward Oliver was indeed framed by CryptoCon. Moreover, the sons of bitches. The identity of this enigmatic figure, Serpent King, raises numerous questions. The rock. There is a complex web to untangle. But you must ensure the delivery of this incriminating evidence to the media. All right, so we downloaded this. Attaches a comprehensive plan for Operation Serpent's Grasp. Edward Oliver's white hacker has posted a threat to Serpent Nexus. The file contains encrypted communications, financial transactions, and the detailed timeline to the assassination plot. We expect most discretion. All right, so we got to bounce out of here. Let's cut, cut ties, and we're going to send. We'll go into our files. And we're going to copy this. F. For the host name. And we're talking about moonnews.com. Now, this is the novice version. If you can, there is an expert version where this stuff doesn't even pop up on the right hand side. You just got to figure it out, dog. I highly suggest you do the novice one. And we're sending this information over to moonnews.com. Exposing the truth. On a few facilities that could be connected to Serpent King. However, it's late now. We'll have to wait until morning to pursue further. Sounds good, bro. All right. Anything news? Newsworthy? Not till tomorrow. Not till tomorrow. All right. Let's go ahead. Oh, new news. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. They're talking about me. Anonymous hacker group uncovers cryptic connection between CryptoCon event and White Hat. Uh, white, hack, white hat hacker shoot is a hard thing to say. <laughs> the enigmatic anonymous hacking group uncovers a perplexing connection surrounding the shooting of white hat hacker Edward Oliver at CryptoCon. Oliver, a vocal advocate for exposing government lies, was targeted during the event while seeking to reveal hidden truths. The group's investigation reveals a cryptic link between CryptoCon and Oliver's shooting shrouded in secrecy. As an annual gathering of cryptocurrency enthusiasts, CryptoCon played an unexpected role in this chilling incident. Edward Oliver's relentless pursuit of the truth made him a target. In the sales of CryptoCon, the motivations behind the violence and the government lies he aimed to expose remain unclear, deepening the intrigue. News of the anonymous group's findings sparks curiosity with the public, eager for a clearer understanding of the connection. Driven by their commitment to justice, the hackers strive to expose the dark forces at play. As investigations continue, the world awaits further revelations from the anonymous hackers, heralding hope for transparency and accountability. Their relentless pursuit of justice unravels the web of deceit, restoring trust. The truth yearns to be exposed, and through their efforts, justice seekers illuminate the path forward. The public remains on edge, anticipating the breakthrough that will reveal the intricate puzzle. Whew. Let's get some rest. It's been a busy day. And yes, the music was playing all night. <sighs> Our okay. target is Access Bank server room. They are currently experiencing power issues, causing service disruptions. Nice. We have intel that they are anticipating a maintenance team to resolve the power issue today. 
You will assume the identity of the fire technician and enter the bank. From there, upload the malware to trigger a firmware anomaly, shutting down the firewall. The objective is to make them perceive it as a power-related issue, avoiding any suspicion of a cyber attack. Interesting. File a source of file of Alexa, uh, Alexa Surge malware using the terminal, if not already completed, command cook. Okay, so we got to cook, cook, about to cook. And which one are we using, though? Requires Alexa Surge malware from underground web hacking. Okay, so let's go into Hackify. And malicious attacks, credential, nope, nope, malware. We are going to need Alexa Surge. $150. Money well spent. All right, so cook. Elect Surge. Cook, about to cook. Cook, about to cook. All right, we'll minimize this. Uh, we'll minimize you too. Very good. Like Surge, malware mandatory. All right, use web searches to look for information on IBM PowerEdge for a PDF command harvester. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll copy this right quick. IBM PowerEdge for PDF. Copy that. Harvester. Perfect. Go. 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 Uh. Come on. Doing the bull dance. Feeling the flow. Working it. Working it. All right. Server usage item workload 35%. Firewall. Okay. Okay. Integrate the newly discovered MAC address into the source. Okay, so we got to look for the MAC address. Aha. And then elect surge dot exe. All right, so that's the MAC address that we got up here. Boom, just copy and pasta that. Elect surge, already set. We're in. We're giving him a hot data injection chat. We're giving him a hot data injection. Follow the instructions found in the ElectroGuard text file inside the files directory. All right, ElectroGuard text is in our files. All right, sent by anonymous ElectroGuard service. Email has been breached. Access go mail for login, email services, and Electro. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll hop into our go mail. Type in their account, not our account. Service master. Service masters compose an email to contact Access Bank. Inform them that the fire tech inspector will arrive. Okay. All right. So compose an email to Access Bank. Inform them the fire tech inspector will arrive. At maintenance. Okay. Uh -huh. Aha. So the compose mail. And then we have to pick kind of a subject for them. All right. So now we're going to put other. All right, so leave your apartment and head to Access Bank. Okay. We'll log off here. All right, so now it wants us to go and leave the art apartment to head to Access Bank. So I'm going to minimize all this. We're going to bounce this Access Laptop, but let's go see. Access Bank. Ah, you must be the fire technician they called in. That's me. Welcome. Hello. Head on over to the left, and you'll find the room where you can do your inspection. Good morning. Uh -huh. Good. You made it there. Use the drop phone to gain remote access to your laptop. Okay. Now remember, stay within the room to not raise suspicion. All right. Go to inspection room and utilize the drop phone. Remote. Yeah, I'm right there. Run Nmap. Okay. Nmap. If I can spell Nmap, and we'll do it on 10 75 38 52. Ready, set, go. All right, so the system is most likely vulnerable to SSL TLS. So let's go into our exploits NLS T2S. Oh, sorry, SSL TLS 1.0. So let's go ahead and purchase that for fifteen dollars. We're on it, and let's go ahead and we will use SSL TLS. Version 1.0, IP, crushing it. Hopefully I have one of those masks like, uh, you know, Mission Impossible. 
can't I can't show my identity. It's gonna be really 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 awkward. Okay. So upload Alexa Lex Surge. Okay, so upload. Has been uploaded. Nice. Upload the injected LX surge to the server, triggering a firmware. Oh, the injected one. Whoops. Let's go into our files here. Let's copy this thing. And then we will use. I'm sorry, upload. Injection. A hot electro surge. Injection. Boom. Where anomaly sequence has been initiated. Get out of here before they notice. Bouncing. Y'all have a good day. Everything in order, I suppose. Yep, everything's great. Everything's great. <laughs> this database has been compromised. It will take some time to piece things together and uncover what they were hiding. Indeed. Currently, we have a situation involving former President Ronald Grump. The sensitive documents he possesses within his laptop are highly problematic, particularly if someone else were to obtain them. In particular? We must take immediate action to ensure their deletion. You got it. All right, so first things first, though, we do have to go into the underground web. Let's get some some get some of that heat down. We got, uh, we got three credits. A lock style. Proxy services. We'll acquire those and identity change. Let's get that alert system down to 42%. Okay, okay, good. All right, side gigs. Secret obliteration requires burp software for underground web hackify. All right, so burpware software. $200. That's okay. We got 1100 because we're crushing it. And. We'll minimize this. All right. So on our terminal, pop that open. We'll end map for this IP address. Get some info. I'm the boss. Need the info. All right. And then we perform a burp attack on it. <laughs> like burping a little baby. Force will gain access through the brute force. Okay. Our terminal blue 1.03. Let's go ahead and open up. 0 0.03, we'll purchase that as well. All right, so intruder. IP address, payload. All right, the host has been definitely bri back in here real quick I just delete all the files inside of the classified folder I did not do that see ya I was born to lead not to read Ooh, download that files grump towers you know what that's all about you know what I'm saying bro all right you delete that file delete the file and then we'll delete that file too boom it seems Elon Musk has been ignoring our recent messages regarding the safety of his workers and his power-hungry agenda. We need to take a little trip into his mobile device to give him a wake-up call. Uncovering some of his private secrets will be a good Kickstarter for him. 
I suppose so. Email tax, Grump Towers. Ooh, bro, hold on a second. So, GrumpTowers.com. See if he's got any kind of secrets. One, two, three. Same kind of password that I have in my luggage. Request for improved social media governance. Okay, okay. Concerns regarding public image. Okay, what's sent? Anything else? Okay. We'll log off for now. Nothing too crazy. I like that, though. As far as this is concerned, pretty wild. All right, let's do one more. We're going to do one more. Okay, so now, Mr. Musk, I presume, infiltrate Elon Musk's mobile device by assuming the guise of an employee and employee uh, employing deceptive, you know, deception tactics to trick Elon Musk, ultimately resulting in the release of their private photos. Ooh, we're getting privy. All right. Compile a source credential harvester malware, use the terminal, and cook. Okay, so I believe I already have that. Yeah, I do. All right, so in our terminal, cook. Here, we'll do, we'll just copy it from here. We'll copy you. Cook, about to cook. Cook, about to cook. Credential harvester will be cloned and applied. Please wait for uh, a while. <laughs> okay, so it's running. Signing into a GoMail account. All right. Compose a message to the following email, rdtesla.com. R&D, baby. We'll do the credential harvester. It's like the suitable subject. Mm, mm, automobile? Are we talking Tesla? Maybe a meeting? Aha, nice. Post attack sequence, the user's security has been compromised, leaving the exposed and susceptible to subsequent waves of cyber attacks. The attack was concluded and a report of that recent attack is provided below. Nice, 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 nice. We'll copy that. Pop it to our notebook. Sweet, sweet, very good. All right. So, select. Oh, wait, the results sign into acquired email address. So wait, this is the email address. Okay, so we'll hop back into go mail. RD at Tesla.com. Believe that's the password. It's either that or it's Elon Musk kid's name. All right, and we're in. Identify Elon Musk's email and compose a message to him. King X Elon Musk at Tesla.com. Telsa. Telsa. Not Tesla. Don't want to get sued now. Okay. We'll compose. Compose. And we're talking about Tesla or Telsa. So we'll see if he'll respond to automobile. Aha. Okay. So. No reply. Post attack sequence user security has been compromised, leaving them exposed. There is his information. Information. And let's go ahead and copy that down to. Let's sign into his account. God knows he's probably got all kinds of weird, weird stuff going on. Idiot users. Sounds about right. Employee recognition program. All right, search the email and identify potential cookies values. Okay, sign to acquired email address. I wanted to bring your attention to a new employee recognition program. Uh, investor meeting update. Ooh. Let's just have that sitting there. Just all kinds of nice. Press the technology background. So that's the only thing he's got inside here is this cookie information that's down here in the second email. All right. There we go. So I'm sorry. After the cookie, you want to be able to paste that part in. So what I'm saying here is not what I wanted. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Notepad. So after you go through a 404, basically, 
Don't worry about any of that. Only worry about this cookie value. That's the cookie value right there. So you just want to copy and paste that in and it's going to give us into here. Sexy Elon mask. Oh my goodness. That is hot. Blurred out hot. I dig it. Download the file name Sexy Elon Mask. Send Elon Mask nudes uh, to either Tile Magazine and Elon Mask. Oh, it's the fa it's the fappening. Although I will give it in that picture, Elon Mask is ripped. In real life, not so much. Super pasty. Super pasty. All right, so send. And we'll take that file. Sexy Elon Mask. Copy the name. And then the host name over to tattlemagazine.com, tattlemagazinezone.com. Poor, poor Elon Mask. we got oh elon mass nude photos leaked online mobile hack sparks privacy debate elon mass renowned owner of telsa has fallen victim to a mobile hack leading to the unauthorized release of his intimate photos the breach of mass mobile device raises crucial concerns about privacy and online security hackers gain access to mass mobile and leaked private photos not meant for public eyes these explicit images circulated online highlighting privacy infringement something tells me that elon mass must be like yes it's my body do you like it? Enjoy those pictures. Like he wouldn't care. I don't think he would care. Former President Ronald Grump faces investigation over alleged secret documents. Oh no, not the secret documents case. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> hands off, hands off. I, I, I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. I'll leave that up to, leave that up to the people who barely know what they're doing anyway oh goodness so navigate to the underground web to get an idea of what we're doing here shadows of power it's a main gig you know what screw it we're having a good time hackify let's go ahead and we'll minimize that malicious attacks nope nope malware what we want next regard purchase for a hundred dollars yes yes sensational got all this information we don't need any of that anymore let's nix that out and we be down compile source we got to cook about to cook let's cook let's cook up some nexo guard generate a hash file to initiate the process of cracking the file named drifter.zip so we do have a file in here drifter.zip that's john file zip close out of that Copy name. So basically command hash to John and then the drifter.zip drifter.zip. So we just copy pasta in there. No software found underground web hackify John. All right. So hackify John. I got that John right there. Okay. So we have purchased that. Then we do crack to John. Oh, no software found. So hold on hash to join. Ashton John file zip, drifter.zip. Yeah, that's what we need. So you gotta download John first, then type in hash to John, drifter.zip. Hash file created. We'll copy pasta that. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Crack. Here we go. Crack to John, just the text. Load one password hash. Processing with word list. Boom. We'll go ahead and we'll enter that. Nice. So read the form, uh, read the list of people involved in the Drifter forums. Ooh. All right. So freight charge payment for a time sensitive delivery from Serpent Nexus Logics transaction stamp. This custom logistics solution arranged. Okay. So payment for that. Freight charge for logistics support. Payment for exclusive car transport service. Special consultation services. Hmm. Payment for exclusive car transport. It's pretty high end. We'll see what that has to give us. 
If not, you just type in every single person's name and do a harvester report and see what comes up. Something tells me it's either going to be that or consultation services, which is uh, not the best. Extra info found. Vehicle registration license. Okay. Let's do a harvester on George Wesley. There we are. We're finding IP addresses. IPs found. Emails found. We're an Nmap on acquired IP. You got it. Nmap. Boom. Okay, it's open. Vulnerable to Eternal Blue 102. Of course, it's always one that I don't have. Eternal Blue 102. Oh, I do have that. <laughs> Face of my egg. Okay, so we'll have to use Eternal Blue version 1.0.2 IP 35673473. Boom. We will connect. Very good. What you got there, bruh? We're going to download that file. That's a credit card text right there, son. All right. Upload the Nexus Guard Trojan malware to the target's location. So let's go ahead and we'll get some malware. And Nexoguard. Yes. Upload. Nexoguard Trojan. wonder if that's the full thing. Boom. Disconnect and wait results. Disconnect. Boom. Got some email. The email. What? What? The email. Nexus Guard target geolocation extraction completed. Target George Wesley. System information. Nexus X2. We still don't know much about Serpent Nexus, except that it operates as a logistics transport company. Okay. However, this could merely be a cover for something deeper and hidden. Red Orbit has been launching an unusually high number of satellites recently. If our assumptions are correct, they are likely linked to this mass surveillance program. Interesting. All right, so we got an anonymous warning wave. Hello, Red Orbit. We are anonymous. Over the years, we have been watching you. Your consistent Ooh. space rocket launches. Your cooperation with Serpent Nexus. A company shrouded in suspicion. And even shrouded. The doubts surrounding your intentions have not gone unnoticed. We implore you to reconsider your involvement in any activities that could compromise the privacy and freedom of citizens. The world watches, and your choices will be scrutinized. Quite scrutinized. The gaze of an informed and vigilant public. The choice is yours, Red Orbit, whether to align with the shadows or step into the light of transparency. Knowledge is free. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us. Dang, son. Dang. Let's copy that name. Tab. File name. And then we send it over to redorbit.com. Send that jam, bro. Yes. To to another location to continue along the path. Why? Why? All right, so we got $37,000, bro. Access computer. What do I got to do now? Do I have to buy someplace? Marketplace? Housing? Meeting apartment? Progress through the story to unlock? Purchase for $30,000. I'll tell you what. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's going to be your episode for today, then. We're going to leave you on a cliffhanger. This game's wild. I enjoy it. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Because it doesn't look like there's a whole lot to uh, to really progress through. It looks like we got two more chapters, and that's the end of the game. But I dig it. It's intriguing in a weird way. But folks, if you enjoy this video, by all means, hit that like button. Helps out my channel ever so much more than you know. And if you like it a whole lot, go ahead and hit subscribe. New videos coming out every single day, live streams every week. Make sure you hit the bell notification. Be aware of all the new content. Everyone. Peace out, I shout y'all, and I will check you out right here again in Anonymous Hacker Simulator next time.